everyone, it's John here, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add more data into your drop-down lists. So here we have a data set of customers, and we've got a drop-down list that allows a user to select a customer. But in this data set, the customer name is not actually a unique identifier. So you can see that we've actually got two Kevin Smiths in our data set. But if we create a drop-down list to select the customer based on the customer ID, which is a unique identifier, that's not very user friendly. So it's very unlikely that you'll know which customer is which ID. So ideally, we'd like to have both of these pieces of data in a drop down list so that we can uniquely identify the correct customer. So let's see how we can do that. So I'm just going to select a cell in my data set here of customers. And I'm going to go up to the data tab and I'm going to create a power query based on this data set. So I'm going to do a from table range query. Let's click on that and that's going to open up the power query editor with our data in it. And power query has actually identified my ID as a number and converted it into a number. So I'm just going to change that quickly back to a text value. And let's replace that step. And we've got our six digit ID back now. And now we're going to create a label for our drop down list. So this is what's going to show in our drop down list. So we're going to use the ID. And we're also going to use the person's name. So I'm going to hold control and click on that as well and get both of those selected. And then I'm going to go up to the add column tab and we're going to merge those together. So we're going to use the merge columns command. And here we're just going to separate those with a space. And I'm going to rename this column as label. And let's press OK and create that column. So here we've got a new column with the ID and the name. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a data type out of this so that we can actually have all of our data inside a single cell. So let's select our ID column, hold shift and select our label column to select all the columns. And now we're going to go up to the transform tab and create a data type from this. And here our display column is going to be the label that we created. So this is what's going to be displayed in our drop down list. It's going to be the ID and the person's name. And we're just going to rename this column to something like customer. And if I go to the advanced options here, you can see that it just allows you to add or remove fields into your data type. So we actually want all of the fields in our data type. So we're going to go with that, press OK. And now we've got a single column. And if I select one of these, you'll, what you'll see is that it actually contains all of the data for that customer. So now we're going to load this back into Excel and go to the home tab, close and load and close and load too. And that's going to give me the option to load it into a table and we're going to stick it in our existing sheet here. And so now I've got a list of all the customers and if I click on this item here, you can see that it's got all the data for that customer in the single cell now. And so what we're going to do is create a drop down based on these data types. So let's go up to the data tab to create our data validation list. And we're going to create a list. And our source is going to be our list of customers data types. Let's press OK. And now if we select Kevin Smith, we can select either Kevin Smith with customer ID 48 or 580 whichever one. And then the correct data for the other fields is going to be in that cell too. And we can actually extract them using the field value function. So let's try that out. And so the field value function takes a data type and then the field name that you want to extract. So for example, let's get out the ID from our data type and press enter and we've got the correct ID right there. But I'm just going to edit this. We can actually create a spilled array. So I'm going to feed it all of the field names that we want and press enter. And now we've got all of Kevin's data. And so we can do that with other customers too. Let's take a look at Gail. And here's all of Gail's data.
So that's how you can add more data into a drop-down list and make it more useful. So it's going to contain all of your customer data now. So we can use Power Query data types to compact our data set into a single cell and then have all of our information in the drop-down list. And then we can use the field value function to extract any particular field. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. And we'll see you in the next video.